Hi, my name is Torben. I'm a projectionist in a small cinema in Luxembourg, and this video is to help you building your own DCPs using FFmpeg and DCP Builder. Now, the first thing you need is DCP Builder. DCP Builder is a free piece of software that you can download from www.dcpbuilder.com, which enables you basically to make your own DCPs. Now, DCP Builder is free, however, it is watermarked. If you want an unwatermarked version, the programmer has a very strict procedure you need to follow, and he is very strict on that, so please respect his, his demands, because it's a great piece of software and it's for free, so it's going to save you and his cinema thousands of dollars or euros on whatever currency you're working in. So, just show yourself respectful towards the programmer. Also, be careful to download the right version. So if you're using um, a 32-bit or 64-bit computer, use the respective version. So just download that, install that. It doesn't really matter which operating system you're using, so it's pretty much the same for every operating system. The second thing you need is a copy of FFmpeg working. So FFmpeg is a piece of software that allows you to encode and decode videos. You can also choose other ways, but just for simplicity I'm going to sh show you how to use it with FFmpeg. FFmpeg is quite easy to find if you're using Mac or Windows or Linux, even though it's more difficult to find it for Macs. But just check out their web page. I'm going to paste a few links in the video description that will help you to download and install it properly. So, in order to verify that FFmpeg has been downloaded properly, there's one easy thing you can do. Simply open up your terminal um, or on your Windows computer, press start and then execute and then type in CMD and just type FFmpeg. And if you get a bunch of stuff showing up there, then FFmpeg is fine. So let's take a video that we want to convert. So I'm going to convert this small teaser I made for my cinema. Um, I, ma I had that made by a guy using a service called Fiverr. If you're ever looking for you know, people doing funny things, consider Fiverr. So this is the video, very short, somebody painting, uh, drawing our logo. So, the first thing we need of the video is, instead of the video as a whole, we need single frames, so every frame needs to be in a, in a separate picture file. Now, there's ways of using FFmpeg directly with DCP Builder, which makes it really, really easy, but sometimes a bit a bit difficult because DCP Builder doesn't always work perfectly with FFmpeg since the latest release. So just to show you a way that will always work, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first way, uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to create a new folder. So I'm going to call it DCP and then I'm creating a folder I call um, WAF for the audio and one I call PNG for the video. And then just for simplicity, I'm going to copy the video into the base folder. So firstly, I'm going to change to the respective directory where the video is in. So in my case, it's um, desktop slash DCP. So this is directly the videos and the video file is called logo.mp4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run two different commands on FFmpeg that will first extract the video then extract the images. So the first command I will be running is the command for video. Now here you can see the exact um, the exact sequence you need to enter um, for your video. Now if you look at the 
DCP Builder Manual that is really, really good. Please have a look at that. You will find the line, but I will also paste the line into the video description just for your reference. So you enter that line and make sure the directory you're using already exists. So in this case I call the directory WAV. So just making sure that you're using the same directory that actually actually it exists because FFmpeg is not going to create a new directory if it doesn't exist. It's going to bring up an error message. So you press enter and it takes a few seconds. Sometimes it's really short, sometimes it's really long. Depending on what kind of video you're using, how it's being encoded, and of course how long the file is. So I'm just using a 20 second file, so that's really, really short. So looking at the WAV folder, now shows me that my clip is there, it's around 6.2 megabyte, which for a 20 second clip is absolutely okay. So that's the first thing you need to do. Now the second thing to do is slightly more lengthy and takes more of your processor power. You need to extract the uh, pictures or frames frame by frame from your mo uh, from your movie so the command i'm using is very similar so again make sure i'm going to paste it into the video description make sure the directory you're using exists and also make sure you using the right aspect ratio. So sometimes DCP, um, FFmpeg acts up slightly weird. So what I do just for security reasons is I put in the resolution which the final picture should have so it forces it out to that resolution. Sometimes if you don't do that stretching may occur but that's something you need to figure out and just it works by playing around. So you enter that, press enter. Now you see if you don't put in the di uh, correct directory, it gives you out an error message. So that's what I was talking about earlier. So just make sure that the second or the last um, the, la the last command you're using is the actual folder where the um, pictures are going to be in. And you press enter. And now it's going to take some time. So I'm going to fast forward that. So now that the FFmpeg has converted every frame to picture, the um, command line pops up again. There's another thing I wanted to show you when using the command, which is quite important. Here you see R24. That means that the actual frame rate is 24 frames per second. Now this is a DCP standard, so unless you have very valid reason to do so, please stick to that and just use the command I provided you with. Again, this command has been taken from the instruction manual that's provided with DCP Builder, which is really good. Please read that. So now you also want to check that your pictures look fine. So you just go into the folder and you just take any picture out of the middle and you preview it. And this is exactly what it should look like frame by frame. So this is good. I'm going to go with that. So you can now close your terminal and you can open DCP Builder. So in order to create a new video I'm going to use the simple way. I'm going to use the wizard. Some of the settings might be different in your case but this is a very standard setting that will work in many cases for your projects. I'm selecting a new project and then I'm selecting the simple wizard. The first thing I have to choose is the resolution 2K or 4K. Most of the time it will be 2K because that's what most films are still being shown in. If you don't know what you want to choose, probably choose 2K unless you know that you're going to project it in 4K, in which case you can choose 4K. The frame rate should be either 2448 for 3D movies, which is the DCI um, norm. So unless you have very good reason to not do so, please stick to that. So I'm just going to use 24 here. Now it asks me to put in my video. Because I didn't use a video, but we made the single frames, you remember, I'm just going to select the first picture out of my 
video series, so in this case 00001. The next point asks me to choose between scope, flat, HDTV or full. Now this depends again on where you want to show it. So in my case I want to show the trailer amongst all the other trailers which are in scope and flat format. So I choose flat which corresponds roughly to the old 1.85 aspect ratio where scope is closer to the 2.35. I select OK and then it asks me if I need boxing. So letterbox is when you have black bars on the top uh, on the left and on the top and bottom, whereas pillar box is black bars on the left and right. Now you need to know what of the, those two options you need. In my case, because I'm using an HD video which I want to show in a flat projection, the actual DCP image is slightly wider, so in our case because I'm choosing, um, I'm choosing to have black bars on the left and right, it's pillar box. But as the dialog states, quite often it's also letter box. Then I choose the color space. Again, most of the time the standard setting will work fine. Same for the audio. Now you need to check which is the um, layout you chose. So if you did the video yourself, it's most likely 2.0, unless you actually conceived it in um, 5.1. So I'm just selecting 2.0, clicking OK. Now it asks you for the uh, audio file. So now we go to the audio file we created early on. Select that. Again, it asks you a few settings. So just click OK. Here you choose whatever it is. So this is important for your DCP server to stay in order because they are grouped by different by different categories. So just so that you will find back your, your video you created, remember what you're choosing. Here you're entering the company name that's issuing the DCP, so I chose the name of my, our cinema, and the preparation facility. So since most of you will probably be one-man shows, you can also choose the three to five first letters of your first name and then you enter the title. So I'm going to call it simply Logo. Then it asks you a few things about audio language, um, destination territory, if there's any classification, or if there's any rating. So most of the time you will be fine just clicking OK. Now it asks you to select a folder where you want to store your DCP. So just to keep things clean for you, make a new folder that will be dedicated to only your files. So click OK, and then it says congratulations. And once that's done, you will just go through your settings. Again, you will see the video lasts 21 seconds, the sound lasts 21 seconds, so that's what we're expecting. Those settings usually remain unchanged because the wizard put them to the right settings. Those settings contain your names and so on, your file names, your destination folders. Now this is quite interesting dialog because depending on what your computer you're using, you can actually speed the process up by raising the number of threads. So in my case, my computer can do up to eight threads at a time, so I'm using seven for my DCP creation. But if you're not sure, please be careful with that setting. So try it with one thread, two threads, then three, four. At some point your computer might crash because it's overblown. But just for this case, seven works fine for me. You need to figure out what kind of processor you're using and how many threads it can use at a time. And finally, your log files is going to be useful later on. So for now I'm just going to go back to the main screen and press start. So you will see DCP Builder will start working straight away. There's a few things you should notice when building DCPs. The first thing is your frame rate is really really low. That is quite normal. So if you achieve around one frame per second that's actually a really good frame rate for DCP Builder. So in my case, I'm using a 
gigahertz dual core processor um, am I? I think. Let's have a look. Um, something along those lines, but don't expect miracles. The DP creation process is really slow. So yeah, it's a 2 gigahertz Intel Core i7 computer with 4 gigabyte RAM. So you see this is how slow it takes. So for 20, 24 um, 20 second video, it's gonna take around half a minute per frame, so around two seconds per minute, so roughly 10 minutes. You see the estimated times here. So let's fast forward to the end. So once the video is converted, you see fl a field done flashing. If there's any problem, please always, before posting to the forum, have a look at the log files and have a look at the last few lines. They will tell you exactly what has happened. And also, if you're using the forum, please copy-paste those lines into the forum because nobody can help you without those lines. So I'm just going to use the folder or open the folder where my DCP has landed. Now I see the DCP folder and you see all kinds of stuff. So if it looks roughly like that, that's fine. One file should be very, very large. So in this case, it's the picture file, 500 megabytes for 20 second video. And the audio file should also be larger than all the other files. So this looks okay. So you simply go ahead, copy that picture on a USB stick, go to your server, enter it into your server, and voila, your first self-created DCP. If there are any problems, please let us know in the comments. Also, again, if you want to use the forum, please be respectful, please play to their rules, and please copy the output of your log file into the forum so people can help you with your questions. I hope this helped you, and I hope you have a good day. Take care, and bye.